Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review. I'm here today to talk about Black History Month. The month that is a celebration of my people. Because I am a black man and everything. And it's about all our accomplishments. Um, all the oppression that we have gone through over like centuries um, of living in like America and stuff like that. And even till this day, we are still being oppressed. And so I'm here today to talk to you about certain characters or TV shows or episodes that revolve around Black History Month that I personally enjoy. So I'm here today to talk to you about the original Ghost Rider's identity. So back in the day, there was a show called Ghost Rider on PBS. It lasted from 1992 to 1995. And it was an extremely good young kids type series where the young kids were like amateur detectives and they communicated with a ghost. On a way that ghost could communicate was through writing. The ghost could not see, could not hear, could not speak. And so early on in the very first episode, the group of kids who can see Ghost Rider, because only certain um, people can see him, they said they're going to help him discover who he is. They made one more attempt later on in the series, but after that, it was completely abandoned. And we never got to know the real identity of Ghost Rider. Well, in 2010, the creator of the show, Kermit Frazier, he revealed that Ghost Rider's identity is actually an escaped slave. See, back in the day, the reason why Ghost Rider could like um communicate and read and all this other stuff is because after he had, um had escaped he taught other slaves how to read and so but then he was caught by like slave catchers and then they sick the dogs on him and he died this is why in one episode he had a fear of dogs and stuff and so I always thought that was really fascinating because I remember watching this as a kid and never, ever, ever knowing like Ghost Rider's true like identity. I just thought him as just like a ghost with a little circle head and little weird eyebrow things floating around the sky and stuff like that. But I never really ever thought about what he might have looked like. Maybe if the show would have continued and everything, then they probably would have like revealed his true identity. And so they had a revival series in 2019, but that was a completely different show, completely different reboot, and two completely different ghosts. One was female and one was male. And so, yeah, this is who his true, like, you know, identity is. I still don't know why they abandoned the concept for. I guess they probably thought it might have been too dark for kids to watch or something like that. But they had some pretty dark episodes on the show, so who knows, you know? Happy Black History Month, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.